uh, it's a toy, it isn't really a professional thing, it's a toy projector, but it's good for, it was good for kids and I guess they, were, they sold them, they were, I don't know how popular they were because it was very expensive. I think it cost ten dollars. Well, in those days ten dollars was like a hundred dollars. So here it is here, the light bulb is in there, this is the motor, this is the lens, and this is, you can carry it around any place you want to go. It's a fun toy and it was very nice because you could trade films with other kids and you get to see a lot of films. My name is Stanley and this was a gift that was given to me by my brother when I was 10 years old. I'm now 83. I got this gift because I was having trouble walking and standing and they couldn't find out what was wrong with me. So my brother said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna buy you a movie camera, a movie projector that you can play with if you get better fast. And you know what? I got the camera and I did get better fast. So I kept the projector all these years. And uh, this was made about 75 years ago uh, in the early 1930s. And it came from Boston, Massachusetts from the Keystone Manufacturing Company. And it shows 16 millimeter safety films and it's for toy projectors. That's what this is, a toy movie projector. And so this is what it looks like. It's a metal reel, and the film is some kind of an acetate. See? It was really a, a kit. It came with the projector, the film, tickets to get in to see the film, and a um, button that said Usher so somebody could be the usher. And then somebody had candy, they were the candy person. And then I was the guy that was gonna run the movie projector. And you could see movies at home. And that was unheard of in my day. Today, you have television, you can see all that stuff, or you can go to the movie house, the theater, and you can see movies. But this, you could have it at home. And it came with two or three rolls of film. The rest you had to buy, and they had a catalog. You could pick out whatever you liked. But, you know, I came from Massachusetts, so when I came to Florida, evidently some of the films got lost. The original ones were Mickey Mouse, but it was an early Mickey Mouse, so Mickey Mouse didn't look like he looks today. He looked a little thinner and a little different. And then they had uh, Nature Series, I have one here, called Frank Buck, Bring Him Back Alive. And this one here is Jerry on the Job, it's a comedy. Maybe that's what I'm going to show you today. You remember how to set it up after all these years? Yes, I do. It's amazing that you remember all this stuff, isn't it? Well, it's just like you remember that dress mom made you. Okay, so this is the film that we're watching. And uh, the film gets wound up through this here and around here, and it rewinds on another reel back over here. In here is the light. This is the motor to make it go. This is the hand switch if you have to make any adjustments and this is for the electricity. Uh, I still remember how to uh, operate this. It's very simple, you hold your hand here and it has a little crank that turns the film and that's how it re-rolls on, a, on a, another one thing. You can open that up too. Don't forget it's old so I gotta be careful with it. I think I showed him in the kitchen. That was the only room that had a blank wall so you could shoot the film on the wall. And what made you keep it for so long? Uh, I really don't know. I uh, put it in a box and uh, I, when I, I got married, I must have taken it with me. And I thought maybe someday I'd have a son who would like to play with it or not. But uh, I didn't have any sons, so I had daughters, but they didn't never showed an interest in it. And so I just kept moving it from one shelf to the other, and here it is. And now it's a nice, it's like an antique, it's a fun thing. It's a, it's a trip down memory lane. When you got this as a toy, what other toys did you have when you were little? Oh, I had a Lionel train set um, that was a favorite. And then we used to have, 
we used to make soapbox derbies, and then we also had What's a soapbox derby? Huh? What's a soapbox derby? A soapbox derby is you would take a wooden box or a crate, and you would put wheels on it, and um, you would go up a hill and ride down the hill on it, and you made it so you could steer it too. The brakes were your feet. What, how could you steer it? Well, we made it so it was a steering wheel. We put the front wheels on a small piece of wood, and then in the middle of it, we had a, a bolt that go through this. You could turn the wheels any way you want. And then we had rope in the top that you could pull it. Nice. And they used to have racing. Okay, and what else did you play with as a young boy? Well, we had snow where I lived, so we had sleds and, and uh, <clears throat> ice skates. And um, let's see what else. Well, as a hobby, I did woodworking. Did you have a lot of toys as a young kid? No. I had maybe two or three and that was it. I came from a big family, so if everybody had two or three, that was a lot of toys. And where did toys come from? Where would you buy a toy? Uh, they had toys to us. Okay. And what was your favorite toy that you never got? There was no such thing. I had everything I wanted. I asked for a toy instead of trains. I got it, you know. Okay. And how many kids in your family? There were seven of us. Seven. Four boys and three girls. And your favorite toy was the Lionel trains? I think so. What did you like about that? Well, the trains are wonderful because you can imagine that you're traveling across the country and um, you could make them go uphill, downhill, stop, pack up, go any way you want. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.